If there's one question that I get asked all the time, especially from people who are new to Jeeps, it's, what's the first mod I should do? And my answer to them is always the same. The essentials. Back before they became standard equipment on a Wrangler, tow points, both front and rear, have always been at the top of my list. Because when you're out wheeling with friends, like you should be, these guys will help get you or even them out of a sticky situation. But if there's one other thing that I would always recommend as well, and almost in the same breath, that would be rocker protection. For whatever reason Jeep may have, rocker guards, or what some people refer to as rock sliders, do not come standard on a Wrangler. Sure, they're available in packages such as a Rubicon or Willys, but otherwise, they're still considered to be an option. Of course, if you're picking good lines and placing your tires on top of rocks and obstacles, your rocker panels will effectively become the lowest point on your Jeep. In other words, big rock targets. And without some protection here, you run the risk of doing some serious damage to them. From day one, Cindy and I had always said that it's our purpose to keep Pippi as stock or stockish as possible. Now, I say stockish because we always knew that some mods would be inevitable. Perfect. I think these are what we need. So, I did have to drive about an hour away to get them, but as you can see, I was able to get these. A set of factory Rubicon rocker guards and I only have to pay $200 for them. Obviously, these guys are used, but so far as I can tell, there's no obvious signs of damage or rock rash, and they even came with all the hardware necessary to get them installed. Of course, the best part about factory parts is that they bolt right up and with ease. Just to make sure this thing doesn't go anywhere, I'm gonna go ahead and take the four nuts that will secure this rocker guard to the pinch seam and just loosely thread them on by hand. Now I'm gonna take the two body bolts and thread them in as well. All right, from here, all we need to do is tighten the bolts and nuts. And for the bolts, we're gonna be using a 13 millimeter socket. And for the nuts, a 10 millimeter wrench. One down and one to go.
give me a minute, please? Just a minute. I promise I'll play with you. You can trust me. <laughs> she looks at me. So just to make sure I've gotten all my nuts and bolts properly secured, I'm gonna finish tightening them up with one of these, a torque wrench. And because the values for them are pretty low, just 11 foot pounds for the pinch seam nuts and 21 foot pounds for the body bolts, I'll be using an inch pound torque wrench. Of course, 11 foot pounds is 132 inch pounds. And 21 foot pounds is 252 inch pounds. And just like that, Pippi now has basic rocker protection and ones that we've always found to work well. And being that these are something that we could have gotten from the factory as an option, I think it's fair to say that she's still completely stock. So, now that Pippi's got her essentials in place, toe points and rocker guards, I think it's time to take her out and play on the rocks. Thank <laughs> you. 